Yo, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial. And today we are gonna explain the different modes of the Akai Fire. So if you look at my device, you'll see you have a couple different modes, right? You have one which is step sequencer mode. That's the mode that we're in now that basically reflects the steps uh, sequencer that you see on my screen, right? So, oh, another thing about this uh, MIDI, MIDI device that's kind of crazy is sometimes you may have to unplug it plug it back in if you saw the screen wasn't popping up right yeah the screen went black so that's one thing about this device man all right now it's got to do this little thing see all right so now we're back online so if you see we have step sequencer mode which reflects the step sequencer in fl studio but then we have note mode right so note mode is basically where this can function as a midi keyboard now if you look at this you'll see that some notes are green, some notes are orange, some notes are white. There's a reason for that. This is basically a piano keyboard. It's like your piano roll. Um, so this would be the root note, which is C. So then you have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then back to C again. And then you have all of your sharps and flats up here. So um, you might have seen in the Making a Trap Beat tutorial when we did the melody that we went to note mode because it focuses as a keyboard in this mode. And in this way, you don't need another MIDI keyboard. <clears throat> you basically have your drum machine and a MIDI keyboard in one. And the way it's laid out is really clever. Uh, so you have those two modes, step sequencer mode, note mode, then you have drum mode. So the interesting thing about the MPC or the Akai Fire is that it also has this mode that lets it function as like an MPC, right? So I'm gonna make sure I go down to some of these different channels on my screen and I'm gonna add an FPC just to kind of show you the functionality. Now, if you look at my screen, I pulled up FPC. Uh, the cool thing about this, since both of these things are made by FL Studio in partnership with the Kai, of course, uh, these drums are already mapped. So if you see I'm tapping the note right here, and you're still getting the sound on the screen. It, it corresponds to this right here. So yeah, if you want to program uh, drums on the fly, that's what you can use drum mode for just. Right? Um, and then aside from that, say if I was on a different channel as well, like say if I was on the snare, So notice it plays the uh, snare at different keys, different octaves as well. So if you don't want to use step sequencer mode or say you have your drum and you want to program it using the FPC mode so you can get those different octaves, you can do it that way. There are other ways to mess with the octave of the uh, snare as well. And we'll show you in a different tutorial, but um, you know, it involves using these knobs up here. So let's recap right quick. Step sequencer mode, that's first. Note mode, that's second. Drum mode, that's third. Then finally, you have performance mode. So if you look at this, it's like I have a whole bunch of different um, multicolored stuff on my screen, right? So each actual channel is mapped in performance mode so that I can trigger these uh, like clips, basically. Same way you would do in Ableton, same way you would do in MPC 2.0 if you have that, right? So if you notice this first channel is the drum channel. Then I've got my melody right here. Then I've got a different drum pattern, like the snares and the hi-hats right here. And then pattern, what was that pattern for? Yeah. Nothing on pattern five, so just these first four patterns. Mouse might be acting a little crazy, but anyway, in order to access performance mode, you have to actually put FL Studio in performance mode. That means saving your beat as like a performance piece. And we'll show you how to do that in another video. Just for today's purposes, we're gonna play this and show you how uh, performance mode works when you launch a clip. So first, that's the beat. All right, cool, that's the beat. First, you want to put the song, you want to put the pattern in song mode, right? All right, 
So notice, so notice when this is white, that means it's been triggered and it reflects up here because the playlist follows along to the end of this clip and it keeps repeating. So notice all of these are grayed out. They're grayed out because they haven't been activated yet. So let's do that again. But if I press right here, it stops playing because it's no longer triggered. See what I'm saying? And that's basically it. So from our other tutorials, you can see how the other modes work. But just to recap one more time, you have step sequencer mode where you can actually edit the steps. So you could actually just go down here and just start adding stuff. Like that. Note mode. Where you can start playing MIDI. Drum mode. Where you can start programming drums. And then finally, performance mode, where you can launch clips. And there you have it in a nutshell. Those are all four modes that come with the Akai FL Studio Fire. Um, if you have any questions, don't forget to hit us up at drummachineaddicts at gmail.com. And also, don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. With that said, we will see you guys next week. Peace.